Well, hello again, everybody. It's Bill from Canadian Breed, and we are taking a bit of a left turn here. Uh, this is not a guitar, as you can tell, but this is an amp kit. I've been needing an amp. I've been borrowing and using um, my son's amp and my um, interface from the Vox Jam for different uh, applications for the videos, but uh, we're going to be building an amp here. And this is the Mojo Tone kit for a Deluxe Tweed 5E3 circuit. And uh, we're just going to quickly go through the components. <clears throat> when I first started uh, debating on doing my own app and doing some research on the internet, there was not a lot out on the Mojo Tone kit. And I use Mojo Tone pretty much primarily for all my pickup kits, and they're really good, uh, good people to deal with. Great service. And uh, so I thought I'd check into their kits. I've only ordered the uh, kit and less the speaker and cabinet which I'll be making myself of course and I'll source the speaker locally but uh, what we have here is the chrome chassis and uh, quite a nice piece and uh, nice and sturdy and hefty and it's spot welded in the corners and it's uh, it'll work just fine I think you can't go too uh, too wrong with something like that <clears throat> nice chrome uh, chrome work on there as well and uh, dry transfer of the uh, decal for the uh, numbering for the dials. Pretty straightforward. You can source that in most different places, but that came with the kit. The uh, power transformer is a non-export unit um, for North America. If it was uh, European, it would be a export version. Uh, something I didn't know when I was researching, I found that out. I am not, uh, this is actually going to be from a novice's uh, perspective build. I'm not uh, <clears throat> pretending to know everything electronic. I mean, I do my own pickups and the wiring for guitars, which are pretty straightforward, but this will be a little bit of a challenge and a uh, bit of an eye-opener, but it'll be pretty uh, satisfying when it's done. This is the output transformer, and I went with the the unit that allows for uh, four 8 and 16 ohm speakers instead of just a single 8 ohm. <clears throat> so this gives me a little bit of variation or options for speakers when the time comes. Then we have the uh, eyelet board and uh, the backing or the uh, cover plate. I know sometimes they come in a with a copper plate and the one question I'm going to be asking is if I were to use copper tape on this plate would that be just as fine or is this good enough? But Those of you that have built these and are going to be viewing this video you can pipe in and make recommendations and suggestions as I go along to help everybody out kind of make this a community effort a little bit. Anyways we'll go on to the next components. Alright here we have all the um, resistors and capacitors for this uh, guitar or uh, sorry amp <coughs> I'm gonna leave them in their little baggies which are marked with the values and the reason why I'm doing that the capacitors aren't such an issue but I have a bit of an issue with uh, being colored blind and so this will help I will also be using my uh, my tester to uh, verify the values that are on the bag so that I don't uh, make a mistake there but uh, this is a complete kit. There was nothing back ordered actually. <clears throat> so uh, that was kind of nice. I can just kind of move right along with this without having to wait for parts. And I can really approach this two ways. I could start with the, um, with the eyelet board and just populate that first and get that going. Or I can start with some of the chassis components and uh, working with that and mounting them onto the chassis. I'll, uh, I'll kind of see how it goes once I get this going and just going through everything and we'll go on to the uh, hardware. Okay now for the hardware um, everything is uh, there that you need for uh, mounting the chassis and the sockets for the uh, tubes we have a grounding bus bar or header there jewel glass there and components for the fuse retaining clip for the power cable as it runs on the inside of the cab so it's all all there ready to go pretty straightforward it's kinda hard to see I know with the plastic bags but I mean you know what a nut and a machine screw looks like right oh and the power cord okay here we have some of the wiring and the chassis components uh, we have red green yellow and white or black red yellow and white sorry tube sockets and we have the uh, speaker jack and plug. We have the uh, chicken knobs, chicken head knobs, uh, power and standby switch, input uh, 
jacks and the control knobs volume and tone and master volume and light. All right, <coughs> these are the tubes that came with the kit. We have uh, two 6V6s, power tubes. We have the 5Y3 tube. I'm not sure what that one is. Maybe that's the rectifier tube. And then we have the preamp tubes. I'm kind of going based on my limited knowledge and from when I used to replace tubes way, way back in the 80s. And we used to go to an old, old electronics shop in Woodstock. And it was run by a wife of uh, a then deceased owner. And she had huge amounts of tubes and a tube tester. And we would go in there and we would look for the best uh, preamp tubes that we could find. I had a Fender Deluxe Reverb and um, was always going in there and it was loaded with all kinds of stuff. You know, the kind of stores where you walk through aisles of bins of all kinds of parts and knickknacks and stuff. It was a pretty cool place. <clears throat> anyways, um, I'm going to have to brush up uh, my knowledge on tubes anyways as we do this. And like I said, if you guys have any comments or uh, recommendations or reviews, I'm sure you'll have uh, suggestions on what kind of tubes to use and who makes the best uh, best um, manufacturer. I think these are... Okay, so for a bit of documentation. This is what has come with the kit. And some may say it's sparse. Others will say if you can't read it, you shouldn't be doing it then in the first place. But this is a schematic that we get. This is your eyelet board and then the layout for the uh, tubes and for your volumes and your tone and your jacks and whatnot. Standby power switch. So it's fairly straightforward. Everything's color coded and marked out easily. So there should be no problem. There's enough on the internet that I should have no trouble. And I just scanned that again and get another shot of just the board itself. Uh, just a little easier for reading and for layout. And I can mark it up as I go if I need to uh, just to confirm some things. One thing that didn't come with this uh, kit which I think might be helpful is a table of voltages for the testing portion of this build so that when we're done I'll know where to um, check my voltages at different uh, spots on the board and to the tubes and whatnot so that's something that I'll need some uh, help with so there you go we'll um, <clears throat> move on to the next step